Larry's old team, the Phillies, game and a half back in Houston. The Marlins, a half game back. Bottom five, game tied at four. Not anymore. Mike Lieberthal. Two run shot for him, his 12th. And the Phillies on top six, four. Top seven now, six, five Phillies. Bases loaded, two outs. Paul LaDuke, a pinch hitting with the emphasis on hitting. Off Ryan Matson, Jeff Conine, and Damian Easley score. The Duke of six RBI and 11 pinch hit appearances this season. Marlins up 7-6. Bottom eight, still 7-6. Two on two out for Pat Burrow facing Todd Jones. Rough night for Burrow. 0 for 4. Eight runners left on base. Bottom nine, still 7-6. Tie run on third. And Todd Jones gets Michael Tucker to ground out. Ball game. 36th save of the year for Jones. And the Marlins win it 7-6. So how about the Astros trying to protect their lead? In Milwaukee, taking on the Brewers. Andy Pettit has only allowed three runs in his last 27 and two-thirds. Lyle Overbay, sit down. Pettit had four Ks in the game, three runs in six and two-thirds. Top second, two on, two outs. Astros up one zip. Craig Biggio, not only with a double here, but also a milestone as Pettit and Willie Tavares come in to score. Biggio now the only player in Major League history with 2,700 hits, 250 homers, 600 doubles, and 400 stolen bases. That's multitasking. Bottom third, Corey Hart. Pinch hitting with the game still at 5-0. That's out of there. Luke Scott runs hard into the wall trying to make the catch. He had to leave the game after his next at-bat. Top eight, one on Astros of 5-3. Lance Berkman. Just so you understand, off Kane Davis, number 19 for Berkman. And the Astros win at 7-5, pet at 4-0 against Milwaukee this season. Nationals hosting Atlanta after beating the Braves in the series opener Friday night. But the Braves, they have Andrew Jones. Top four is 47th, matching Eddie Matthews and Hank Aaron for the Braves' single season record. Atlanta would take a 4-0 lead. Bottom five, Christian Guzman. He's going to right. And who's out there? It's Jeff Francourt. What can't this guy do? Unbelievable. Another look. This in support of Jorge Sosa, who allowed only six hits and eight scoreless. Braves win 4 0. Atlanta's 11th straight win against loser LeVon Hernandez. So now, an updated look at the National League wildcard standings. The Astros will enter Sunday with a half game lead over the Marlins. Nationals, four back, will have another key series starting Monday. Houston hosts the Florida Marlins in a four game set. All St. Louis, it's Mets of the Cardinals, top second, no score, Jeff Supon pitching to Mike Piazza, and Piazza likes the pitch. Solo shot in his first at bat since coming off the DL's 1 0 Mets, number 15 on the season for Piazza, but check this out, top eight. Oh boy, Julian Tavares right off Piazza's helmet. Tavares said it just got away from him. He said, I've got nothing against that guy. Take another look at it, though. Piazza would leave the game. He's listed as having a slight concussion. He said he didn't want to get into whether or not the pitch was intentional. Bottom eight, cards up 4-2. Aaron Howman and David Eckstein. Eckstein hit by the pitch. Howman gets a warning. Cards get the win 4-2. A wild card beginning with the Yankees who are hosting Manny Ramirez and the Red Sox. Manny is 62 at bat homerless drought. The last one coming August 21st, but first inning against Sean Chacon. A two-run shot is 34th. He finally goes yard. One of Boston's 16 hits. Bottom one, Bernie Williams, Kurt Schilling. Watch the hands. Schilling looking for his first win in four starts and returning to the rotation on August 25th. Top four, they're loaded for Boston. Big Poppy to left. Hideki Matsui backpedaling and cancel the Yankeeography. Oh. Yeah. Gabe Kapler comes in. It's 4 0 Boston. Three batters later, more defensive issues. Jason Veritek, routine double play ball, but Robinson Cano throws this one. Hello, 8 0 Red Sox. Bottom eight, Schilling gets Matsui to end the inning. Kurt Schilling looked to be back. Eight innings, gave up two runs on five hits, struck out six, says he feels great. Red Sox win 9-2. Their division lead is back up to four. Twins and Indians now. Cleveland trying to protect its half-game lead in the wild card hunt. Coco Crisp, anything but soggy lately. 334 gets right-handed pitchers, highest in the AL. Bottom third, here's Coco off the rookie Scott Baker. And that was going 13th of the year for Crisp, 416 feet. Game tied at one. Top five, one out, two to one twins. Now runner on first, Scott Ellington facing Shannon Stewart. Stewart over to first. Ben Broussard says, don't worry, I got us. Handles a double play himself. That ends the inning. Bottom five, two outs. Johnny Peralta at the plate. He's got that look in his eye. And that one's gone. Number 21 for Peralta. 
That ties the game at 218 of the Indians' last 22 runs have been scored by a home run. Bottom six, J.C. Romero facing Chris. Infield hit to third. And on the throw, two-run score. Chris said it was good to get two runs in that situation. It's 4-2 innings. Top eight, Scott Ellerton to Shannon Stewart. Stewart later ejected for arguing this call. Ellerton retired the last 10 batters he faced. Indians win at 7-5. They won six in a row. What about the A's now? Game and a half back to start Saturday in Texas to face the Rangers. Top second, 1-0 Rangers. Base is loaded. Dan Johnson facing Cameron Lowe. No need to chase it. It's out of there. Grand slam for Johnson. 14th home run of the year. Career high four RBIs for him. A's up 4-1. Bottom of the second, Nick Swisher doing it all defensively. Nice play by Swisher to keep the ball from getting by him on the Kevin Minch base hit. He holds Minch to a single. Next batter, Adrian Gonzalez. Swisher catches that one and then doubles Mitch up at first. So Swisher doing it all in the eighth. Wait a minute. There's more. Mark Teixeira with a liner. And it's Swisher again. Swisher was sweet. A's going to win it 5-4. So here's what we have. The Indians win over the Twins. Combined with the Yankees lost to Boston. Increases Cleveland's lead in the AL wild card to a game and a half over New York. In Chicago, John Garland of the White Sox taking on the Angels' Bartolo Colon. Steve Finley in the fourth. He goes yard. His tenth. Put that on the board. It's 3-2 L.A. of Anaheim. In the fifth inning, more Angels. Garrett Anderson. And that's out of here. A three-run shot. Number 14 for Anderson. And it's 6-2 Angels. Garland allowed seven earned on eight hits and six. White Sox in danger of losing their third straight. Bartolo Colon, meanwhile, looking for a league-leading 19th win, but in trouble in the fifth, Paul Kaderka. To right, here comes Jeff Devanin, ladies and gentlemen. He sticks the landing for a top play nominee. Next up, it's Carl Everett. Colon is league-leading 19th win. He gave up two runs on four hits in six. He's won eight straight decisions. Angels win 10-5. All right, top play is Saturday. There's so much great stuff going on. Top play, is, it's good stuff, but it's some of the other stuff that we didn't have time for before. Like, for instance, oh, the WNBA Conference Finals. East and West, it's a done deal. It's all set. The WNBA Finals will be the Connecticut Sun and the Sacramento Monarchs. Get down, girls. Go ahead, get down. Number nine, it's South Carolina and Georgia. DJ Shockley had to wait his turn behind David Green. Now he's up for the challenge of being a starter and up. And over the goal line against the Gamecocks. The dogs get 2 0. Number eight, Akron and Purdue. Zips pawning. Bernard Pollard with the block. Corey Sheets catches it. And he is in there. Take another look at the block punt. Again, Akron has not beaten a Big Ten team since 1894. Quick, how many years is that? It's, it's a lot. It's like 200. No, it's not 200. <laughs> Number seven, Red Sox and Yankees. Anybody can do it with a glove. Kurt Schilling does it without one. Bare handing Bernie Williams to throw him out. Stellar performance for Schilling as a starter once again. Sox beat the Yankees. <laughs> Number six, Weber State, Fresno State. This is Clifton Smith, and the band is on the field. Clifton Smith going through everybody. And he's into the end zone. Number five, Tulsa and Oklahoma. You remember Oklahoma had all those problems last week. Adrian Peterson made sure they didn't have any problems. This Peterson, back the Adrian Peterson. Number four, LSU, Arizona State, fourth down. Got to have it to Marcus Russell. Early do set. Does he have possession? Yes. I, Touchdown. I, I don't know. Nick, it's kind of got it. Hey, the man in the stripes had two arms up in the air. That's good enough for me. All right. Bell Canadian Open, number three. Craig Barlow on 17, 147 yards away in case you want to try this at home. He had the right club. The ace leaves him tied for second place. It's a nice hat. Number two, North Carolina, Georgia Tech. Look at Demarius Bilbo. Go get it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech off to a good start. Number one, Southern Miss in Alabama. Brody Coyle up top. Tyrone Prothrow. You will not see a better catch than that this season, maybe ever. Unbelievable catch by Tyrone. Wild card race. Astros begin the day a half game up, taking on the Brewers. Roy Oswald pitching for the Strolls. Allowed just one run in each of his last two outings. Bottom four, though. Ricky Weeks says, yo.
Oh, sorry. Two run shot, week's 13th of the year. Brew Crew wins it 4 2. No, Philly's looking to gaff the visiting Marlins. Philadelphia's lost six of its last seven. Bottom three. Philly's up 3 1. Chase Utley, Bobby Abreu, Pat Burrow, bartender. Check. 30th home run of the season. The Phillies will win it 11 1. 14 hits, eight walks. They run away with that one. Neil Nationals began the day four back, hosting the Braves top three, two zip Braves. Andrew Jones already with 47 dingers on the year. Booyah! 48th home run out. That 48 moves him into first on the all time Braves single season home run list ahead of Eddie Matthews and Hank Aaron. Top nine. As we check out, just, I mean, if you're ahead of Hank Aaron in anything, that's big ups. Top nine, Chipper Jones went acoustic on kids. Two run shot. Extends his hitting streak to 10 games, 17th homer of the year. Braves up 8 7. Next batter, I ain't gonna say nothing, but this ain't right. Andrew Jones, second homer of the night, 49th of the year, best in the bigs. Ninth multi home run game this year, 299 for his career. If you wanna know anything else, log on. Braves win at 9 7. Here we go. In our wild card, Astros lead the fish by half game. Those two meet in Houston for four starting on Monday. In fact, they've known each other 1,935 times, but this day, this meeting, a little different. Yankees in the defensive posture, four back of the Bo Sox in the AL East, game and a half in the Indians' rearview mirror in the wild card, most expensive roster in the bigs, maybe facing no postseason. What y'all gonna do? How about hand the ball to a six foot 10 inch pitcher the day after his 42nd birthday? Players and fans remembering the tragedy of 9 11 four years ago to the day. Bottom one, no score. Jason Jombie got all crunk with his 29th home run of the year. Jombie had been hitless in his last 24 at bats against Tim Wakefield. Hitless no more, one zip Yanks. Top two, Randy Johnson. Plays Doug Mirabelli. Silly to end the frame. Big unit went seven innings, eight Ks, one hit allowed. Bottom three, Tim Wakefield. Ran the freaky knuckleball, okie doke on Derek Jeter. New personal best for Wakefield with 12 strikeouts. Top nine, Sox have runner at first and third. Mariano Rivera, though, gets John Olerud. Whiff it to end the game. Yankees win one zip. Take two out of three of the weekend series. Three back of the Red Sox in the AL East. All right, Indians hoping to match the Yankees, maintain their one and a half game lead in the AL wild card. Minnesota hoping to play spoiler. Grady Sizemore already tripled in the first, two run homer in the second, 17 hits in a 12 4 tribe win, seven in a row. Sizemore, three for four, three RBI. AL West leading Angels looking to take advantage of Oakland losing at Texas Sunday, trying to sweep the Sox in Chicago. Vlad Guerrero against Brandon McCarthy, advantage Vlad in the top of the eighth, his 29th. Angels hit three home runs off Orlando Hernandez in the first inning, and they won it 6-1. Angels two-game lead over the Athletics in the West. Angels head to Cleveland on Monday. As for the A's, they're two and a half games back of the Indians in the wild card. Yanks one and a half back. A's, Indians battle at the Jake on Monday. Yankees heading to Tampa. Ten plays of the week is around all parts and around America, the national anthem, and God bless America, heard loud and clear. America, 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 America God share His grace, grace on me. The Yankees were at home in New York to play their arch rivals, the Boston Red Sox, and no one forgot. Across the river in a later kickoff at Giants Stadium. New York playing Arizona, and certainly no one could forget. Football is back. Some old names and new spirit in Miami. Upsets week one, you got them. Jason Taylor does go all the way as the Dolphins for Nick Saban shock Denver, the only undefeated team in the preseason. First NFL game, they often call him Speedo, but his real name is Mr. Earl. Cadillac Williams, rookie running back, Tampa Bay. They shock Minnesota in the Homer Dome. And what about San Francisco? Their teammate, number 72, Thomas Heron, falling. 
just a month ago. And the 49ers given no shot against the St. Louis Rams. Otis Amy, putt return, wearing number 18. Gene Washington used to wear it for Dick Nolan. Mike Nolan, the new coach of the Niners. What a win for San Francisco. I am going to take a little liberty here. It's a couple of weeks ago in the CFL. Calgary misses a field goal to Toronto Argos, but Sheer Levinson trying to kill the clock. Tick, tick, tick. Why not run it out of the end zone? And guess what? He runs about 250 yards on this play. He goes down, has it 111 yard touchdown return. He had 109 yard punt return in the game as well. Nice going, eh? How about baseball hustle? Marcus Giles never stops. He scores from second base against Pedro and the Mets on an infield play. And Vlad Guerrero from second base against the White Sox in the 12th scores from second. Hustle still counts big time. We remember because we were there. The Red Sox moving on up. In the ALDS, last October, in the 10th inning of Game 3, as David Ortiz did the honors. Tuesday, Fenway, deja vu all over again. Ortiz, Big Pappy, bottom of the ninth, Homer does in the Angels again. And what a week it was of remembrance for Boston of their sports heroes. The Patriots open up the season with the banner, and then shade to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady to Deion Branch as the Patriots are on their way again. The Bell Canadian Open and the drinks are on Craig Barlow. Par 3, 17th in the third round. The ace, Mark Kalkovecchia, wins by one stroke. He uh, first win on tour in four years. College football. Oh, no, not again. Dion Byram of the Ohio Bobcats could go all the way with an interception return for a touchdown second time in the game. Dave Watts, I can't believe it. That was the winner in OT. How about Alabama's Tyrone Prothro? How does he make this behind the back of the defender catch against Southern Miss? On to tennis we go. We're at Flushing Meadow, New York. Kim Kleisters, too tough on the women's side. Ousted Sharapova, straight sets in the finals over Mary Pierce, congrats. And Andre Agassi in a match that went over three hours, finishing over later than one in the morning. Outlasted James Blake, dropped the first two sets, won the next three. Congrats to both, as well as to Roger Federer. Agassi was game, but Federer too tough. He wins his second straight U.S. Open champs. Agassi, outstanding in defeat. LSU, a quote, home game at Arizona State. Fans collecting money for Katrina Hurricane Relief. LSU comes out and somehow, some way, has the moxie to have Jamarcus Russell hit early due set on fourth and 10 with a touchdown to give the Bayou Bengals the lead and they win 35-31. And hit baseball on 9-11, passing the buckets in support for everyone in New Orleans. Meanwhile, the Saints somehow, some way, got together to play a football game. The Carolina fans supportive. Aaron Brooks twice to Joe Horn in the last minute. John Carney, 47-yard field goal, good. The Saints for Jim Haslett went 23-20, a performance that won't ever be forgotten.